Laura, thank God. I think I found your tracks. I knew you were alive. It would take more than a thousand tons of ice and snow to take out my little bird. There's something strange going on in the woods, and it's not Trinity. There's someone else watching me, from the trees. I had some food in my pack, old energy bars mostly, but I'm running low. I slept inside a dead log last night, and when I woke up this morning, there was a present waiting for me. Dried meat, some berries, all wrapped up in deer skin. I thought I was dreaming at first, but there's someone looking out for me here. Hope they're looking out for you, too. Your loyalty to her is strong. I admire you. I do. But even my patience has limits. Tell me what you know. Now! Please, please, no. Don't listen to him! I was only doing what I believed was right. No! Sweep the cell blocks. Kill everyone. I should have killed him, but he was unarmed. I just couldn't. Shh. You shouldn't have to. I am so sorry for getting you into this mess. <coughs> I thought I could keep up. They're coming. We're surrounded. This time I've got your back. He's dying. We don't have much time. Bar the door. All units respond. We've got to deal with her. We're almost in position. I know that you like to read the archaeological journals now, but I urge you that if you see anything written which is less than pleasant about me, to ignore it. There are those who simply do not understand the work I'm doing here. Perhaps they're even frightened by it, but their fear and stupidity is not my concern, and neither should it be yours. I will explain everything in good time, my darling girl. The people that were frightened, were they Trinity? You never told me. I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. They found their way to me. Now I'm going to have to deal with them. Target yet, waiting for orders. Stay in position. Get ready, she's dangerous. Roger. Command, we are in position and have a visual on target. Got to take them out. Oh, 
shit. Ready to engage! Roger! This is a spot. I got an angle. Get out of here. Don't talk like that. No, just listen. You can't blame yourself anymore. We all make our own choices.
His end is near. No, he can't die. We can help him. How? We must get him to the observatory, to Jacob. Only Jacob can save Jonah now. We have to get him back to the observatory. <sighs> Jacob, he's dying. Let me attend to him. The Lord is your guardian, your protective shade at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor moon by night. The Lord guard your soul from all evil. The Lord guard your going and coming, from now to all time. Keep pressure on the wound. Prepare him. Jacob, you were shot. You are him, aren't you? The deathless prophet. I can feel pain. I can be hurt. I am human. Save for a human ending. And the divine source? Something I found long ago. It is real. And deeply powerful. But it is not divine. So you've lied to them? For generations? I'm not proud of it. But I did it to protect them. I once used the source to grant my armies their long lives. But it was a terrible mistake. The ones I saw in the archive. When enemies attacked Katesh, the Deathless Ones brought the ice from the mountain down upon the city. Thousands were killed. But they committed an atrocity to keep the power. And so will Trinity. But on a much larger scale. That's not you. The man I've come to know would never harm his people. Don't you see? All of this is my doing. And it must finally come to an end. Father! They're on the move. They're going to brute force their way into the ice. Then we've already lost. No. There has to be a way to stop them. Jacob, the map showed a secret entrance into the city path of the Deathless. But it's too dangerous. We're running out of time. You know I can't give up now. If we can delay Trinity, that might just give us a chance. I will take our forces and attack them on the ice. Then it's time. Open the path. When you're ready, the entrance lies beneath the observatory. I will do what I can for your friend.
I just have to catch my breath for a moment. This place, Katesh, Jacob, the Deathless Ones. I've been running so fast for so long, I haven't stopped to acknowledge the simple fact that all of this is real. A part of me can't believe it. But I know Jacob was telling the truth. Whatever made him is here, and I'm going to find it before Trinity. I only wish Dad was alive to share in this discovery. Amazing. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off, centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers, before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. See how this thing works. Locked. Just have to disengage the mechanism. <sighs> There's another lock on the other side.
The Mongols destroyed everything in the city, sank beneath the ice. Lara. Now! advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. The old city is close. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes, they're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much, but they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. 
even armed? I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself. But I live. I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. A divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the Prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever.
Ik verras!
Regine, Scott aus der Dien! never felt such terror. Tonight the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemists' fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi. But I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. This is, hmm, particularly odd. Has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, n not possible. Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the Prophet's path, and twice before they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blemmy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place. To retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. 